some of you may have heard of a small publication called the GQ magazine. They are uh, both uh, paperback and online. Uh, but they've put together a list, quite a lengthy list, actually, uh, of 114 watches and watch brands that you should be looking out for for 2022. Now, I don't know if this is factually correct, but some of the watches and watch brands that we've been speaking about at length in 2021 have made the GQ watch list. Uh, so I'm not saying that we're massively influential in the watch world. I'm just saying we're pretty much always right. If you want to put a number on it, 5% of the watch brands that we spoke about last year have made the GQ list. So I'll take that. Uh, But we have picked five watch brands slash models from the 114 that GQ shared to share with you. Uh, And it was Stu. (laughs) This is is Stu's choices. I I asked him to make a choice and then I didn't. I didn't. Uh, Oh, so so we're only getting my five. We're not getting any from you. No, no, I just just thought yours were the educated educated choices. Uh, So we picked five of the watches that we like the most off of the GQ list and we start with atelier jalaper i am delighted that you pronounced that uh, i was struggling how i was going to tackle this one yes uh, belgian watch manufacturer um absolutely beautiful and it is the one that you're seeing on the screen right now um this kind of brushed silver uh, face on it um apparently it comes from the bonnet of an aston martin db5 uh, as yes. well always a fan of a watch that has the day of the week on it something i definitely could have used over the festive period uh, <laughs> constantly uh, looking at uh, my my partner and asking what day is it uh, mm-hmm. felt a little bit like robin williams and jumanji and um, this is just absolutely beautiful though um i love where the um um the the hands are for it um giving a little bit of this kind of brushed and chrome cross check uh, look on it as well just a really really nice watch and only I say only 700 pounds yes very interesting uh the fact that the face is made from an aston martin db5 bonnet uh very interesting that very good value i believe they're only making 600 of these ah so move quick i believe uh so some of them have been sold out because there's a range of these some of them have got the day on it some of them don't have the day on it they all have the date on them uh but they have and this is from their website they have secured another aston martin db5 bonnet (laughs) in in which to do this um i think this is a fantastic timepiece and thank you very much for picking it from the gq list of 114 for us on tiktok uh it's one of the very rare times where we both agree on a watch. Uh, so. I, I will say, and going through the completely random number of 114, mm-hmm. um, I thought, oh, this would be easy, pick five. My first run through got about 23. Oh, mate, then, it's so hard. Yeah, just kind of taking a note of the, the number of the, the watch that I wanted to kind of say, oh, yeah, this is a nice one. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. Mm-hmm. I better be hopeful I never win the lottery because I yeah. think I will just blow it all on watches. Yeah, it's a, t- it's a tough one. Um, but we shall motor through these. Uh, we won't spend too much time on your second choice, which is Breitling. Uh, so Breitling, uh, was it the Top America or whatever it's, it was called? It was, yes. It's like deja vu all over again. Yeah, this was, this was one of the on. ones we picked. So. Yep, this is part of the classic car squad. Uh, there was a red and black version one for uh, the Chevy, a green and brown one for the Ford Mustang, and this is the blue version for the Shelby Cobra. That was very, it. very nice watch. Um, I don't often go for Breitlings. Uh, I sometimes find them too busy. But um, when car and watch combine, we've all seen some absolute crashes on it these are not uh, falling into that category um four thousand three hundred and sixty pounds for one mm. though so they might need to dig a bit deep or say no to it like she just has but very very nice timepiece and and we're playing fantasy here i'm, I'm just yeah. picking five watches so yeah no very very cool uh this one you are wrong this is the <laughs> this is the quorum uh now it's an interesting company with an interesting story that i will admit Hmm. Um, and because I hate this watch, I'm going to harry us through this because we're running out of time. But it's got an illuminescent skull on it. Yeah, they're making 88 of them, and they're going for 2,900 quid. And on my notes, I have written here the word wrong, and that's it. That's all <laughs> I've got. 
Why have you um, picked this utter piece of rubbish, please? Um, I'm the wannabe golf kid that never grew up, so clearly you just don't understand me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Fair designer uh, Severin Wunderman, uh, if I'm pronouncing it. Uh, incorrectly, I do apologize uh, to the company and, of course, his family. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2008, but his spirit lives on in this design. It's got a brilliant bubble, and it's the, the X-ray containing the skull, and it's got this luminescent coating, so it lights up in an eerie kind of green after dark. This is quite cool. I will 100% agree I'm not going to be spending 3,000 quid on this watch. It, no. It's just something I saw and I thought, that's really <laughs> cool. I like it. Yeah. And, I, I, yeah, I probably wouldn't wear this to hang around on Coburn Street in Edinburgh. One, nah. because I'm well into my thirties now, and I'd probably get arrested. Uh, <laughs> it's rubbish, mate. Uh, the next one you picked, however, ah. was cracking. Yeah. So this, this is the Glashoita original. So, uh, panorama date with a dial. Uh, yeah. It comes in a variety of different colours. This is the uh, kind of crystal blue. Mm. It does come in a, what they call zinging yellow, which I quite appreciate. Uh, steel, nice calf skin strap. Only 100 watches with the zinging yellow are going to be made. £11,500. But I love it. Well done, yeah. GQ. Well done, Stuart. This is very yes, good. Absolutely. Yeah, get back to the 1970s with you, but this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, not many being made. Is it 100 um, just shy of probably twelve thousand pounds once you could have get it to your good self. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, once you get it delivered. Superb quality, very lovely traditional de design. I love the miniature dial features as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a lovely, lovely watch. You can imagine yourself wearing this, uh, having a bathtub gin in the summer. It's do you know at what? an event, not just drinking in the bath. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, with it on. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not going to be able to go anywhere if you spent like eleven and a half grand on a watch. That's true. Um, I'm quite liking these kind of um, these Pan America, Pan like squarey type watch faces that seem to be from the seventies that are coming back. Um, mm. I'd be surprised if I don't finish 2022 with a a watch of this style. Um, my, well, we'll go back to our good friends at Cartel. Do you know what? I was just about to say that. I was going to yeah. say, do you know what? At the moment, I've got, I'm between two. Sorry, Glashoiter, you're too expensive. Um, it's between the Amalogato uh, Pan America. They come in a variety mm. of colors. They're just shy of 500 quid. They look amazing and they're a proper motorsport brand. But then the guys at Cartel, was it the Sinclair? Uh, oh, that does ring a bell. Yeah. Um, Either way, it, I mean, I might end up getting both. Might have a really good year, uh, but absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Great choice here. Pity about the price, but I only mean that because I can't get one. Um, <laughs> I think it's probably worth the eleven and a half grand. And we finish with oh. Marlow. You uh, know what? The this Bonneville. is probably yeah. This is probably my watch of the year last year for TikTok, and that's a bold thing to say. Where? Um, but. Beautiful Marlow watch company now based in Kinross in Scotland. Had no real kind of emphasis on why I picked this. Harking back to the Sir Malcolm Campbell breaking the 300 miles per hour speed record in 1935. Make no bones about it. I want this. It's no stranger to the pod. It's Groundhog Day again. Check it out. Absolutely beautiful. There are only four left when I checked it earlier oh, today. Oh, flip, don't tell me that. All right, don't. Uh, yeah, don't get this watch, people. It's a load of rubbish. <laughs> there are only Fall four apart as soon as you look left. at it. There are only four, <laughs> there are only four left on the internet website uh, for Marlowe. Uh, they're, they're, they're good value, just shy of 300 quid, wasn't it? Or was it something like that? Uh, um, yeah, I think it was three, 300, 350. Yeah. Um, Ballpark, yeah. Wow, watch of, your, watch of your year last year. Lovely, lovely watch. And I'm really happy to see them both as a brand and that they pick this watch particularly this model particularly to go in that long list at gq really proud that we featured them on tiktok last year and really happy for them to see them on that list yeah. for this year make sure that you do subscribe to is it fast because tiktok is is going to be a huge part of the year this year if you're into your watches your timepieces your wrist adorned lovelies uh, then make sure that you do subscribe to Is It Fast to Is It Fast this year because we're going to be talking and showing 
lots of watches, but also watch buying experiences as well. It's going to be a very good year for watch fans. 